a long box has made its way onto my desk from a product line that's not really represented much on my channel, but I'm hoping to review more of in the future. This is the new Asus RT-AX1800HP, an entry-level Wi-Fi 6 router that's offering a lot of features for not a whole lot of money. Let's get it unboxed and let's try it out. Before we continue with this video, I would like to remind you that if you are enjoying this content, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm a solo content creator, and I do all this to make sure that all of you are informed about the products you're about to purchase. Every subscription helps keep this channel running. Thank you. Now, on to the video. So the RT-AX1800HP comes in a long boy box that looks very standard fare coming from ASUS. There are some highlighted features on the front, such as lag-free 4K streaming, lifetime-free security via AI protection, and high power most probably referring to a high degree of signal propagation via its really long antennas. Right. At the back, we can read that it has warp speed Wi-Fi, Asus AI protection, is apparently faster, goes further and more future-proof, and supports the Asus router app. All right, let's get it opened. Upon opening up the box, we are greeted with a lot of documentation, which includes the advanced Wi-Fi helper tip, the quick setup guide, the VIP warranty card, and the app setup instructions. Underneath all that paper, we have the router and its accessories inset into some cardboard mold to protect it from bumps during shipping. Let's get them out and let's see the accessories first. First, we have a short blue RJ45 cable. Then we have the 12 volt power adapter, which comes with replaceable plug ends to account for Asia, US, and EU power sockets. Alright, let's head on over to the router itself. Here is the Asus RT-AX1800HP. It's a medium-sized router with some extra long antennas. The antennas are pre-installed, and the overall design of the router is classy and minimalist. The top of the router has these thin lines in between some glossy finish. Make sure to wipe your fingerprints off this finish once you set it up, so it'll look pristine on the table or the shelf. At the front, we have five LED indicator lights, one each for 5G, 2.4G, LAN activity, internet availability, and power. At the other side, we can see that almost the whole panel has been perforated to allow the insides to cool down. There are also two screw slots where you can hang it off of if you want to wall mount this router. Printed here are the initial setup login credentials. And lastly at the back, we can see the recessed reset button, the WPS button, power button, 12 volt DC in, the RJ45 modem connection, four RJ45 LAN ports, and of course, the four extra long antennas. All right, that's everything about the router. Let's test it out. I am currently running the Tough Gaming AX3000 router, which is a bit of a step up above this router. While they are both Wi Fi 6, the RTAX1800HP is an entry-level model, while the Tough Gaming AX3000 is a mid-range model. But I won't be comparing the two. I will be setting up the RTAX1800HP as an AI mesh node so that the Wi-Fi signal can reach all places of my condo evenly. For the purposes of this test, I will be setting up the RTAX1800HP here at my desk since the official AI Mesh setup guide recommends that you set up the node router near the main router first before installing it at its permanent position, just so setup will be faster. For the setup process, I will be using the Android app GUI since my gaming PC is already connected to my Tough AX3000, and I don't want to go to the back of my PC and just change out the RG45. Anyway, the first step is to set up the router as normal, since you do have to update to the latest firmware first before converting the router into an AI mesh node. Setup and the update took less than 10 minutes. Once initial setup is completed, we just have to go into settings, select the AI mesh option, and the app will automatically search for available Asus AI mesh devices nearby to get it connected to the Wi-Fi network. Then I just selected the RT-AX1800HP from the list and the app automatically set it up. It actually even said that the setup would last around 8 minutes. It actually lasted a little less than that. And voila, no further setup is needed. After this step, I can just unplug the RTAX1800HP, place it at the part of my house that I want better Wi-Fi coverage at, and I'm good to go. 
So that's my unboxing and basic setup coverage of the Asus RTAX 1800HP AI Mesh Router. Do you have any questions about this router? Leave them down in the comments. As always, please like and subscribe, check out my previous video, and stay tuned to my channel for more tech and tech-adjacent videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.